bring it. There are literally millions of channels on YouTube with great content that won't exactly show up in your recommended feed. When YouTube was first born, a group of people took advantage of it and began to upload hilarious and thought provoking videos that caught the eyes of people around the world. Fast forward to 2018 and everybody seems to want to get in the YouTube business. For those of us who make it, well, we become known as content creators. For some of them, it's just a hobby. For others, it's their full-time gig. And uh, well, for you guys, we thought we'd take a look at a few YouTubers that we think deserve a little more respect on the platform. People you probably haven't heard of. I didn't before we put this video together. Now, if you're more focused on celebrities that are in the mainstream, well, we do have a guy with dolls and we even have a porn star, so stay tuned. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCredden and today we're counting down the top five biggest YouTubers you've likely never heard of. Now this year it's coming to a close and we're counting down the best in various categories. Now 2018, it's been a defining year on YouTube and we needed to talk about the YouTubers that probably will be leading the next generation of creators. Now if you feel like we've missed out on anyone, please do not forget to sound off in the comments down below. We wanna see if you know a YouTuber that we haven't heard of. Uh, you know, I've done a lot of videos, but there are still so many I don't even know. In the meantime, let's get into our list of YouTubers you probably haven't heard of who are killing the game. Geeky things off at number five, we're gonna go with Daily Dose of Internet, AKA Jason Nassage. Now Jason, he's a 25 year old YouTuber from Chicago, Illinois, and his videos consist of what seem to be anything that will catch the attention of the average viewer. The channel was created in July of 2015, and Jason's first video ever uploaded to the channel was titled Daily Dose of Internet, and it dropped in August of 2015. In this video, Jason takes us through the top internet videos that were circulating at the time. Daily Dose of Internet has amassed over 4.3 million subscribers at the time of this recording, with more than 700 million hits. Now Jason, he uploads an average of three to four quality videos each and every week. Now it takes Jason approximately four hours to edit the images as well as the voiceover. And uh, well, the guy's gone full pro. One of the channel's most popular videos is called Throwing Bananas at People That Text and Drive. And it currently sits at 11 million views on YouTube. Not bad for four hours work. According to one particular webpage that calculated the data on this YouTube channel, well, the monthly minimum income obtained by Jason is $14,000. In addition to daily dose of internet, well, Nosage, he manages a second channel called Sir Nosage. Here he uploads videos on various games, including Grand Theft Auto and Call of Duty. Coming into the number four spot, we have YouTuber Jake McCormick, also known as Papa Jake. And his YouTube channel, well, it's managed by Team Epiphany. Now with just 24 years old, Jake is the founder of this successful channel that is meant to entertain pretty much the entire family. And uh, well, that's to, you know, due to the diversity of his content. Created way back in June of 2009, Papa Jake, he currently has five and a half million subscribers. In total, his videos exceed 200 million views. Now it's content, it's based around fun challenges and jokes and survival videos. Now for example, spending 24 hours in a toy store, although most of their videos are for children, the goal is for any person to live the adventure in each video, regardless of their age. In Papa Jake's box fort videos, he takes elements such as Spider-Man and Batman, or sometimes even different scenarios to create a story he wants to tell. Now the videos, they have between one and three million hits on his channel, so the kid's really breaking it in. In fact, he bought himself a BMW, he lives in a mansion, and he actually burned his parents' house down. But, uh, you know, the money's so good, he's fine. Moving on to the third spot, we're talking about Fern and Flu. Yeah, he's a Spanish-speaking YouTuber with one of the biggest followings in the world. Luis Fernando Flores, also a 24-year-old creator, well, he's been on the internet for several years. But back in 2015, he had to make a decision, and that was between his typical marketing career or working on something that he loves. At the end of the day, he picked YouTube, and I think he made the right call. Now, Fern and Flew, he first started back in May 1st of 2001, although he's had some periods of absence. Nevertheless, the channel has over 30 million subs and a total of 7 billion views at the time of this recording. When Lewis started his channel, he would upload videos where he would simply comment on video games. Now, his spontaneous personality along with commentary on various subjects, well, it drew in views from all over the Spanish-speaking world. Over the years, he's adapted with the norms and he's tried new things such as challenge animation videos and Q&As. It's almost like no matter what he uploads, well, it's always an instant hit. Lewis does not seem to have a regular schedule or weekly goal in terms of content. 
This is the last post he did. Well, it was over a month ago. He also has a second channel called Fernan, where he uploads the best moments of the live videos playing Fortnite. Now, Lewis also has a children's book called Curly is in Danger. Written in a comic book fashion, well, it tells the story of a missing dog. Taking her second place spot is Spanish porn actor Jordi ENP. Yeah, it's not often we cover, you know, male porn stars here on this channel, but he's doing a lot of stuff on YouTube outside the adult industry. Jordi has been a successful YouTuber, and like our last two entries on this list, well, the man's only 24 years old. Does he really need any of that YouTube cash? I mean, the guy's already filming more than 100 scenes with Brazzers, and he probably works with a few others as well. He's, he's multi-talented. Jordy started his channel on October 27, 2017, and now has almost 3 million subscribers at the time of this recording. With over 190 million views in total, well, Jordy's content mainly focuses on his personal life, including family events, also his daily life, and a bit of work. Uh, just, the, just the PG part of his work. He also interacts with his audience in one particular video called Dr. Polar's Office. Now the adult star, he plays the role of a doctor and he answers the questions his followers have posted. Jordy's channel is quickly rising in popularity, gaining thousands of subs to his channel each and every week. On average, Jordy, he earns at least $3,000 a month. Not bad. Plus it's probably an American, so that's even like, boom, good for this kid. Taking our number one spot, we have Super Mario Logan, who's uh, become widely popular on the platform for his various skits featuring dolls from the Super Mario franchise. Logan 30 Acre, he founded his channel back in December of 2007, and now, well, he too is 24 years old. Yeah, these kids are blowing up really young. Good for them. Now, Super Mario Logan, he has over six and a half million subscribers at the time of this recording, and almost four billion views in total. Thank you for six million subscribers! Although the main characters of his videos are Super Mario dolls, well, the channel has zero affiliation with the Nintendo company. The content on his channel, unlike others we've listed, well, it isn't exactly geared towards children. It's filled with dark humor and is aimed towards adults who enjoy children's toys. And it's done in like short film style. Now the videos they find the dolls in various storylines through various genres, including parody, horror, action, and just plain old slapstick comedy. And sometimes, well, he even incorporates characters from other franchises. His audience is used to watching him create stories and trashing things. His most successful series is Mario and Luigi's Stupid and Dumb Adventures. The character of Jeffy is also proven to be very successful, and Jeffy is a character some would find, well, maybe a little bit inappropriate. Due to some of the sensitive content in some of his videos, while well, Super Mario Logan is restricted for anyone under the age of 17. In February of 2018, the channel it received the terrible news that it had been demonetized. Despite this, they kept on creating content, and in August of 2018, well, the channel began making money once again. All right, guys, that wraps up our list of the top five YouTubers you likely haven't heard of. Okay, maybe you have, but uh, well, I'm just happy we're finally talking about them here on this channel. A lot of you guys want me to make before they were famous on these guys, but uh, we missed them this year, so we just thought we'd squeeze them in on this video. Maybe we'll do it before they were famous in 2019. My name's Michael McCrudden. If you like what we do here, please hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!